Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48 Square where we get down and do reviews. Surprise, 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 surprise. I'm here. That's right. I got my new computer. I got my microphone and I can woohoo. Okay, yes. Um so I'm testing out my equipment. So we're going to do a review because we're going to make this happen regardless. I just have to fine tune and tweak a little things when it comes to the audio and uh, a little other stuff. But I'm just trying to see how it happens. But we're going to be going over a story today. Yes, come on in the room. Come on in the house. You got your girl on deck with some videos behind me displaying what I am going to be talking about. And you finally got me on the screen. Okay. So I hope you're happy just like I am. Because <laughs> I have been wanting to see y'all. And y'all just hear my voice and, and, and my antics. And now y'all really got me going in circles. Going in circles. Yes. But anyway, let's get on into this article. We're getting it from UrbanBellMagazine.com. Yes. And it is written by Amanda Anderson Niles. Okay. We're going to give her the ham, pl ham clap of praise. Yes. For giving us a story to talk about. Shots of shit, my door. Lord, we did not want this. Okay, and I am kind of in my nightwear because, hey, that's how I get down sometimes. Y'all don't get to see it, but now you do, okay? But we're going to make sure it be a little bit more plushed and a little bit more, uh, what do you call it, uh, congested in here in my background because we are working in my office. So um, let's get on to the story. Like I said, it was written by Amanda Anderson Niles. And she's a correspondent or journalist over there at UrbanBellMagazine.com. So let's make sure we give her props for breaking out this salacious story. Now, the title of her article is Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore gives uh, Evil Marcel a warning. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Yeah, she's giving Marcel a warning and she, she then clashes with Cynthia Bailey. Okay, so this is uh, written on November 29th, which is today, which is Friday. Okay, guys, and um, she's going in giving us a salacious story talking about an upcoming scene that's coming, I think, for this Sunday which would probably be, let me see, the first, second. So I guess it'll be December 1st. I haven't changed my calendars over for the new month yet. And happy holidays. And if y'all didn't know, my daughter got engaged too. So I'm pretty, pretty happy about that on Thanksgiving evening. All right. So let's give her a hand clap of praise. All right. Ooh, we'll be finally throwing her out the house. And then I can have my house to myself with my 80-year-old mother and dogs. Okay. <laughs> So, all right, talk about throwing the kids out and getting a little freedom. But anyway, neither here nor there. I still love them. They'll probably be around me anyway, okay? But anyway, the story reads, or the article she puts out, it says the upcoming episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta will be an interest, uh, in uh, interesting one. Uh, Kenya Moore will confront Eva Marcel for the comments she made to Portia Williams. To refresh your memory... Eva decided to attend Baby Brooklyn's party without her children. When Portia asked Eva why she did this, Eva said that she doesn't know Kenya that well, so she's not sure about Kenya's energy. Now, of course, you know I did a um, video about it, as well as several other bloggers and content creators who follow the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, we didn't know what the hell Eva was talking about. We're talking about Kenya's energy and she can't trust around her kids. And I'm like, when did Kenya ever go off on somebody's children? It was a children's birthday party. Either, either you want to bring the children or you didn't want to bring the children. Let's just keep it real, okay? And for you to go all off tangent and then trying to say this, that, and the third. I'm like, girl, give it a rest. Give it a rest. All right, we don't want to hear about it. And you just didn't want to bring them. So that's what you should have said. I didn't want to be bothered with my rugrats. Uh, I have somewhere else I need to go after this. I need my money for taping. 
purposes and that is why I'm here. So if they couldn't digest, digest that truth, then, you know, there's no reason to even go further with another explanation. But you said this, that, and third, Eva, and it's all coming back. It's all coming back, baby. But anyway, um, going back to the article, it said when Portia repeated this back to Kenya, Kenya got upset. Rightly so. Kenya should have got upset. Hold on, guys. Look, my boy, you better stay in or stay out. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, programming difficulties, if you must say. <laughs> But anyway, um, since Kenya got upset at this point, she convinced that Eva just wants a problem with her. So she gives Eva a warning on the upcoming episode in the process. Okay. So I'm like, I am kind of disturbed with Kenya throwing out warnings and ultimatums and she wanting to tell people how to act in her presence. But when it comes down to the real McCoy and the real nitty gritty. Why she can't get marked together, y'all? Why can't she get marked together in the same tone and so and same positive negative energy she's given to the women on the show? I don't understand it. Make it make sense, cause it don't. It really don't make a hell hell of a bill of a sense that what she got going on. She's trying to throw it at the women, but she never tackles the man aspect of when he getting on her nerves and she don't know where to come and go with the situation and she all passive, you know, no spark, no flame. No desire to get him together, but then she going to pick on Marlo and try to get her together or any other woman in that uh, frame of mind. Okay, but let's go on back to the article. You know, that's my sidebar. I give it to you here and there. But it says, can you mourn Eva Marcel with face off on the upcoming episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta? After Kenya confronts Eva about the comments she made in regards to not bringing her kids to baby Brooklyn's party. She gives Eva a warning. And just my sidebar, y'all, I kind of saw a little head on, a little clips. Um, she re-gifts. <laughs> I think that's the actually article title of the new episode coming, the re-gift. She re-gift a baby doll that Eva Marcel gave to Kenya for her child's birthday party to Portia. Now, how tacky can that be? That's just like passing around a bad fruitcake. Now, I know I'd enjoy a fruitcake, but it has to be a good, well-baked fruitcake. Fruitcake. Uh, but you know how people get fruitcake during the uh, holiday season and they don't really care for it or don't like it and they just re-gift it and pass it, pass it, pass it around to hopefully um, a person that who likes fruitcake. <laughs> <laughs> but usually it ends up in the trash, okay? Instead of standing up to the person that gave you the fruitcake in the first uh, point, uh, first part of uh, interaction, just tell me you don't like fruitcake, you know? Give it to somebody else, but don't give it to me because I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw it away, okay? So pass it along to someone who really appreciates the gift and the thought behind it and that would actually eat it, okay? But that was my sidebar. I just had to tell y'all that, okay? But going back to the article, it said... Um, in fact, she um, she says she don't want a problem with me. This is Kenya expressing her whirlwind twirl tricks on Eva or anybody that's in her party that she thinks she's going to get Eva together whenever she see her. But, you know, they finally see each other and she goes into a whole wreck of a roar and, you know, be telling, oh, you don't want a piece of me. You don't want a piece of me. You know, da, 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 da. I'm like, girl, say the energy for somebody who really cares, okay? Because Eva probably really don't care. She'll probably drag you around the stage and then some. Because, uh, Kenya, you, you don't seem like you want to fight. You don't want to get into them hands and this that, and third because you're like don't touch my face don't touch my teeth don't touch my hair <laughs> type of scenario i'll sue okay and all this is allegedly it's for entertainment purposes so don't take me serious people okay but anyway um going back to the article it says and uh, Eva responds with vice versa, and she also denies that she told Portia she wasn't sure about Kenya's energy okay Kenya then brings up Eva telling people that it was rumored Cynthia Bailey paid her ex Will to date her. <laughs> I'm like, Wait a minute, flag on play. Flag on play. See how we intertwine other people into a scenario? Uh, Kenya just don't fight 
fair at all. And she wants to talk about one person that she's bringing a, a, a slew of other people to mark why and, and, and use as a frame of reference of why she can't get along with certain people. OK, but anyway, let's go back to the article. It says Kenya then brings up Eva. Excuse me, telling people that it was rumored Cynthia Bailey paid. Paid, yes. Okay, paid in dollars amount, check amount, however, PayPal or anything else that's acceptable to get in the greenbacks. Okay, but in this article, she said it was rumored Cynthia Bailey paid her ex Will to date her. Now, Ken, if I'm not mistaken, the same rumor was actually put out on you as well, my dear, that you paid Walter, Mad, and probably some other ones that we can't remember at this time because I'm not in that frame of mind to be remembering a lot of research <laughs> or just plain stuff that may or may not be true, okay? Because I'm, I'm only giving it to you all from my point of view, my ascertainment of information how I deduce to find out what's factual for me and what I can tolerate of a particular subject okay I'm not bringing you uh facts uh unless it was stated in the article that it was factual I'm giving you my opinion and that's all so don't get in a your panties in a bunch or your jockeys in a strap okay but anyway um it goes on to say uh Kenya brings up, okay, that whole incident and, you know, just me making a reference that, you know, why the cot, the pot is calling it the kettle black in essence because, uh, yeah, Kenya, it was rumored that you paid people as well to play your mate, your boyfriend, your lover, your husband. And the beat just goes on and the beat goes on just like my love everlasting. Yes. Kenya, the beat goes on. So you can just keep the rat a tat 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 rat a tat to that beating that drum because that whole situation is dead pretty much. But now you want to throw Cynthia Bailey in the format or the cookie mix, the dough mix, and make her look pretty bad on TV. So next time you're going to say she paid Mike Hill, her fiance, to do the same thing. Hmm, that's interesting. But that's my uh, pun intended, my sidebar, not in this article. Okay, but it goes on to say. Um, Cynthia then chimes in and says that this happened years ago. Ooh, so Cynthia is confirming. <laughs> Allegedly, I'm just getting it from Urban Bell Mag magazine. So it seems like in this article, Cynthia's uh, pretty much confirming. Yes, she did it. Okay, what's what? <laughs> okay. But it says in the article, Cynthia then chimes in and says that this happened years ago. And she and Eva have moved past this. At this point, Kenya gets irritated and asks Cynthia why she interrupted her girl you gotta see it i'm telling if you ain't caught the first three episodes you might want to tune in eastern standard time atlanta time and watch the Bra uh, bravo real housewives of atlanta season 12 episode of episode five okay because cynthia is trying to get the kickback okay she's trying to stand in her own shit she's trying to stand on her own feet and make her opinions known now like i said i'm kind of she on the bench with me still she ain't in the game however she's trying to formulate this person that speaks her mind and sometimes if she's got to get down and dirty with it she'll come with it come with it like that but right now i don't know where to go with cynthia she's really confusing me and i'm just trying to let this new cynthia relax with me in my mind and my spirit and let's see where she's going so i'm not gonna give her kudos not this season anyway because like i said i really feel that it's played up for the cameras might not put a uh, vision in his head or how she should orchestrate this particular feat of rebranding herself uh as to be seen on social media as well as on the real housewives of atlanta he's trying to change her image in somewhat of a way so you know that's where we got it going so i, I i'm I'm still confused so i'm gonna let my opinions on whether she got a backbone be seen and tested out uh god willing on season 13 if they get one okay but anyway moving back 
um, to the article, Kenya is basically uh, stating, uh, why are you uh, interrupting me? This is an A-B conversation. If I want to see your way in, I will announce that I need Cynthia Bailey to come to the throne and uh, answer some questions. She'll send her twirlers out to find you, Cynthia, and then you come in and then you, you know, you were summoned and then you come on back and, and tell us whatever Kenya wants to uh, relate to you or wants you to discuss and bring clarity to us for but basically on the other hand she's telling you to sit down shut your mouth look pretty and only speak when spoken to okay now see that's why i got a problem with me kenya how you gonna talk to another another grown person like a child okay but your so-called husband is acting like a child ignoring the hell at you throughout the uh, season i think it was i went i'm talking about season episode three or four I think it was four. Shit, I can't remember. But it is, is what it is. Okay, y'all catch up with me. I'll get down in them comments because y'all know y'all be tearing me a new behind here and there when it comes to Kenya Moore. Okay, Twirl Team be tell telling me off. Okay, but I respect them. You know, they do it in a respectful way. And that's the way I, you know, ask them to do it. They do it beautifully, brilliantly. And it just is what it is. They have their opinions and I let them speak. And I definitely uh, feel they have some valid points. And then, you know, I, I have my um, opposers of um, Kenya that don't care for her. They wish she'd just gone and go off the show somewhere and just that and third. But then they are very respectful and they speak their mind and they do it with very much clarity. And they give very good synopsis of a, a narrative that they're trying to portray that they feel is absolute truth in their eyes and I got no problem with that as well and then you know of course I say what I got to say and I just feel like it's my opinion I express it well with that being said we all players of the same game we love the drama the mindless drama that this uh sitcom show gives us and we just partake and we let people let have in the comment section and they do what they got to do just do it respectfully okay everybody has an opinion everybody has a point of view and everybody has a perspective let them speak okay but anyway going back to the article it said um can you get irritated with cynthia pretty much shuts her down telling her to shut the hell up and speak when i speak uh, I summon you to be spoken to or whatever, however you say it, and 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 just get out this conversation because it ain't got it ain't got nothing about you, it ain't got nothing to do with you or about you. But when I bring you in, that's when you come and make a, a comment. But if you say something slick, slide out the mouth, then well, I'm gonna have to shut you down. <laughs> and see that what I don't like about Kenya. I don't care what y'all say, y'all want to put her on this pedestal. But when she is foul, nobody really want to call her out. And I'm telling you, we got to call Kenya out. We if we could call Nene out. And drag her for filth. We can call Candy out, Portia, Cynthia, uh, Marlo. Then, you know, there's no hose bar when it comes to Kenya. Okay? Kenya is acting real foul in this particular episode that's coming up on the uh, new season of season 12, episode 5. Y'all must check it out. Because, you know, again, she's like trying to thrust her opinions and her opinions are go. You need to, you know, uh, understand where she's coming from and uh, adapt to it and take it in conform to her way of thinking and that's just all it is she's spoken i'm like come on can you now mm -mm. you're foul on that play and you're going to be fouled again probably on something else but i hadn't seen it yet so i can't speak on it but anyway uh she just got really angry that Cynthia interrupted her when she was trying to make a point of view um then this leads to an argument between them two. Okay, and that's like I said, that was pretty much it that we got from UrbanBellaMagazine.com. Please tune in. And see, I should be a commentary person for them, a hype person for Real Housewives of Atlanta. Don't y'all think so? I think so. Hell, I'm giving them all this free publicity. But it is what it is. They stay relevant. I stay relevant. We all make money together. <laughs> but you can definitely know I'm at the lower lower part of the program because uh, my youtube money didn't buy all this equipment it was my first job but i'm investing in myself i love doing commentary on stuff that i like to do so a lot of people don't understand unless you got a lot of followers uh, you make videos that really gravitate to a certain or really all genres of people you don't make no money on the YouTube unless you're selling product or you getting super chats and, and, and um, what do you call this other stuff? 
you join for like what is it patreon that kind of stuff and I, mm -mm, I just like getting on making the little money that i do make it puts extra groceries in my house it may pay a utility bill depending on what i want to do with it uh hopefully it's like get a little bit more successful get a little bit more subscribers uh spend a little bit more time uh putting out more videos making it more fantastic uh, to see, to watch, to view, the, and, and have interesting commentary content, then, you know, we can grow and we can do a lot of things, you know, because I have a lot of ideas of what I want to do for my channel, but it does take money, honey, and the bills come first, you got to pay the bills, you got to pay the bills to be able to be the boss, so it just is what it is, but like I said, I'm testing out my new equipment, I'm already 20 minutes in, and Lord knows, if I ain't talking fast enough or, or, or interesting enough, y'all be don't click me off. <laughs> so hopefully now that you do have me in front of the camera, you'll give me a little bit more time, a little bit more time, be a little bit more patient with me. Okay, I'm 51, 52, 52 in January, God willing. And y'all just have to be patient with me. Be patient. Be patient with me. Okay? But that's all I have for this video. If y'all get down in them comment section. Oops. Shoot, I told you. In the microphone, I got me a Yeti, honey. I got me a Yeti up here. It catching every sound in my ears and everything. But I'm being able to hear the tone of my voice. Well, I'm getting a little bit too loud or I'm speaking a little bit too low. So I'm getting familiar with the equipment. So bear with me. Um, on that front and wish you happy holidays be safe out there when you're shopping and going around doing you know the hustling bustling out there be aware of your surroundings because people like to steal creep and, and knock you over the head take your purse take your wallet take everything they can possibly get okay so be leery of your surroundings women don't go around them park vans that you know you can't see inside any of them you know make sure you are very much so aware Keep your keys near you. Don't even go out there with a pocketbook. Just keep stuff, you know, in your bra, in your breast area, somewhere. And and go like that. Because a lot of people are just sick out there. So, uh, yeah. That's all I had to say. Get down in the comments. Y'all let me know how y'all like the new setup. How y'all uh, like the commentary. Uh, express your mind on the subject matter. Not necessarily on me. But if you want to tear me up for you know, from the head of my feet to the soles of my shoes. <laughs> Go ahead and do so, baby. Okay. It's your life. Live it. You only have one life to live. So definitely express yourself. All right. But that's all I have for this video. I will be back with another one and I will talk to you soon. Thank you guys. Bye. Shows I do that. Do I, what, Sean? How do I uh, stop it? Oh, is it stop streaming? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Stop recording. Oh, stop recording. Okay.